The movie opens with an adult monkey named Rodriguez arriving at the Cuddledine Corporation, a research and development company that specializes in developing devices and machines catering to parents and their children. Rodriguez is welcomed by Cuddledine's Dr. Godfrey Larrabee and his assistant, Dimitri, who have built an experimental machine called the Demystifier, which they believe can help parents fluently speak the baby language. They put Rodriguez inside the machine and connect him to a baby monkey. They are hoping to help Rodriguez speak and understand the baby monkey language. Rodriguez undergoes demystification, but the experiment goes sideways, and when the monkey exits the machine, he comes out wearing a diaper, acting like a baby monkey. The machine has turned the adult monkey into a baby monkey. Dr. Godfrey screams in frustration as he is supposed to present the demystifier to his boss. The movie then cuts to a group of middle schoolers, including Samuel Benson, Samuel's sister, Carla Benson, Sue, and Jasper, playing in the playground. On the slide, Samuel complains to his friends about how his parents keep grounding him for the smallest things. Carla comes to her parents' defense and tells the other children that Sam got grounded because he rubbed butter on the banister and slid on it in his underwear. In Sam's defense, butter banister underwear sliding is an American pastime. Sam rolls his eyes and calls his parents bossy, who make random rules every day to restrict his freedom and fun. Carla responds that if Sam had his way, their whole house would be a mess. But Sam continues his rant and calls his life unfair, and claims that he could take the place of his parents and do what they do with ease. He says that when he will have kids, he will let them do whatever they want to. Sam, Carla, and other children are then joined by a boy named Chaz Larrabee, who is Dr. Godfrey's son. Upon hearing their conversation, Chaz says that he actually loves his dad, but he just wishes his dad played with him more. Everyone's parents arrive to pick them up, and Chaz watches his friends leave with their parents. Chaz waits for his father for an hour before his father finally arrives to pick him up. Chaz is upset, but when his father gives him his favorite caramel corn, he forgives him in a heartbeat. Chaz is basic. Meanwhile, when Sam and Carla return home, they see their paternal grandparents, Jack and Martha, on the porch, and quickly deduce that they must be going on a vacation. Sam's dad, Robert, attempts to hug his son, but Sam tells him that he is all grown up now and asks Rob not to embarrass him in front of others. As Sam and Carla get prepared to head to their grandparents' remote cabin, their mother, Denise, learns that she has to stay back due to a work emergency, and Rob decides to stay with her. Sam and Carla are upset, but Jack promises the kids that they will have so much fun it will come out of their ears. Godfrey takes his son to his office, while Sam and Carla go to their grandparents' holiday home. On the way to the cabin, Sam tells Carla that if he was in charge, he wouldn't ruin family vacation for stupid work. Meanwhile, at Cuddledine, Godfrey introduces Chaz to Dimitri's son, Alexia, and goes to meet his boss, Mr. Montgomery, who is getting increasingly impatient to see the demystifier. Godfrey and Dimitri show him a bunch of garbage devices to stall him from seeing the demystifier, but Montgomery threatens to fire him should he not show him the machine. Left with no choice, Godfrey decides to show him the incomplete machine. Elsewhere, Martha notices a wishing star outside Sam and Carla's room and tells them to make a wish. After Martha and Jack leave, Sam wishes for a PS5, but the star doesn't give a damn, so Sam wishes that kids ruled the world before going to bed. Back at the Cuddledine, Godfrey asks his son to be the test subject so he could show his boss how the machine works. Chaz is a bit skeptical, but Godfrey assures him that he would have never asked him to do it if it wasn't safe. Chaz initially agrees, but later changes his mind and calls out his father for using his son as the guinea pig for his experiments. Upset, Chaz trashes the machine, and it begins to malfunction. The machine begins releasing white mist that not only takes over the Cuddledine headquarters, but the entire city too. When the smoke settles, Chaz reunites with Alexia, and they notice that all the adults are acting like children. Worried, Chaz checks Godfrey's computer and tries to figure out what happened. The computer reveals that the demystifier had a complete malfunction, resulting in leakage. The leakage created a mist that has taken over the entire city for a five-mile radius, causing all family members to switch identities. Parents taking on their kids' personalities and children taking on their parents' personalities. When Sam and Carla, who didn't come in contact with the mist, return back to the city with their grandparents, they quickly learn that the world has turned upside down. All adults are acting like young children, and children have become important people of the world. Kids are driving cars, running for mayor, starting OnlyFans accounts, putting out fires, and policing the streets. 
Sam's wish has come true, and he becomes extremely happy. He takes a stroll around this new world with a big smile on his face. Meanwhile, Martha and Jack get apprehended by a police officer for driving a car as a minor and almost being run over by a child, i.e. a man. Sam and Carla follow them to the police station where they meet their school friend Jasper, who has assumed the role of his cop father. Martha and Jack are presented before a judge. The judge berates them for operating a vehicle as a minor, running a stop sign, and trying to bribe an officer with Girl Scout cookies. The judge sentences them to 25 years in solitary confinement. Sam and Carla have no say in this, and they are dropped back to their home by Officer Jasper. When they enter their home, they see that the house has been turned upside down. Just as they wonder who trashed their entire home, Rob and Denise pop out from behind the mess, acting like children. They call Carla and Sam their mom and dad. Sam makes full use of the opportunity and makes Rob and Denise clean the entire home. Carla calls him out for abusing his power, but Sam argues that it is payback time and their parents had it coming. Later, Sam and Carla make their parents bathe and brush their teeth before tucking them into bed. However, Sam's fun doesn't last long, as the next day, Rob and Denise wake up early and force Sam and Carla to make breakfast for them. As the new kids have breakfast, someone shows up at the door. It is Sue, Carla's friend, whose mother works with Denise. Sue has taken over her mother's job and is here to pick up Carla as she has to give a very important presentation at work. They are getting late for work, so Sue helps her pick her dress. After going through all of Denise's wardrobe, they finally select a black dress. Before leaving, Carla reminds her brother that they must fix this mess, as Martha and Rob are rotting in jail. However, she couldn't be further from the truth, as they are actually having a ball in prison. After the breakfast, Sam somehow manages to drive Rob and Denise to school. Meanwhile, Chaz is continuing research at Cuddledine and trying to complete some of his father's projects. When Godfrey keeps bothering him, Chaz drives him to school. At work, Carla's boss, Reynold, hands her the original copy of a print advertisement for a moisturizer and asks her to make 20 copies of it for the presentation. Carla has never operated a photocopy machine before, plus not even professionals can handle these things, so she struggles to Xerox the ad and ends up photocopying her face and arm. After the photocopy runs out of ink and paper, Carla accidentally puts the original copy in a shredder, mistaking it for a photocopy machine. When Sue arrives and forces her to hurry up, Carla grabs the photocopies of her arm and heads to the conference room with her. The clients love Carla's dress and ask her to begin the presentation. Carla distributes the photocopies of her arm, which looks like someone's bottom, to the people in the conference room. She tells them that it's a baby's bottom and comes up with a random slogan for the moisturizer, smooth as a baby's bottom. Surprisingly, the clients love the concept, calling it fresh. Meanwhile, the excitement of being an adult soon wears off for Sam as he fails to find anyone to play with him. He realizes that being an adult is not fun and vows to change the world back to its original form. At a local eatery, he sees Chaz on the news. Chaz is inviting people having trouble reaching the shelf or fitting into their clothes to visit Cuddledine. Chaz is taking his role very seriously and plans to use his father's idea of an overnight delivery bird express to carry the mist to put the kids in charge everywhere from London, New York, Tel Aviv, Paris to New Delhi. Anticipating some resistance, Chaz hires ninjas as his elite bodyguards. Chaz is no longer basic. Sam learns about Chaz's plans to establish child supremacy all over the world when he overhears Chaz talking to someone on the phone when he comes to pick Godfrey up from school. Sam follows him to the Cuddledine HQ with Rob and Denise. They gain entry into the HQ, posing as tourists. He admits Rob and Denise into Cuddledine's daycare and goes on a tour of the company. At an opportune time, he splits from the other tourists and looks for Chaz. He eventually finds him, preparing to send the mist from the demystifier to every corner of the world. Just then, the security spots Sam snooping around the company and they start chasing him. However, he manages to sneak out with Rob and Denise. After returning home, Sam tells Carla about Chaz's evil plans. They then hire a baby to babysit Rob and Denise before heading to the police station. There, they meet Jasper and tell him about Chaz's plans. Meanwhile, Chaz kidnaps Rob and Denise from their home. Sam and Carla head to Cuddledine HQ with Officer Jasper. Sam tells Chaz that it is over for him, only to realize that Jasper is colluding with him. Chaz then reveals his plans to demystify Sam and Carla. Chaz locks them inside the machine and orders Alexia to finish the demystification process of the Benson family while he goes to release the birds carrying the mist. 
But before they could be turned into adults, Rob breaks free from captivity and saves Sam and Carla. They are surrounded by the guards, but the siblings take them down using Godfrey's boxing gloves. When Chaz learns about Sam and Carla, he sends his ninjas after them. However, the two swiftly take them out. Sam eventually finds Chaz, but the latter freezes him with Godfrey's remote. Meanwhile, Carla gains access to the demystifier's control panel using Godfrey's help and malfunctions the machine. She then helps unfreeze her brother. When Chaz again proceeds to freeze him, Sam tries to reason with him. He reminds Chaz how much he loved his father and how much his father loved him. Carla tells him that there's so many wonderful things that parents do for their kids, like tucking them in at night, preparing dinner, showing them new things, teaching them right from wrong, taking care of them when they don't feel good, paddling their asses when they're bad, and giving them hugs and kisses. Sam reminds Chaz that they have their whole lives to act like adults, so they don't need to rush growing up. Chaz realizes that it really do be like that sometimes, and realizes his mistake, and decides to recall the birds and change the world back to normal. Sam and Carla are grateful to get their parents back and promise to never take them for granted again. Sam embraces his father and he is no longer embarrassed about it. Meanwhile, Godfrey apologizes to Chaz for neglecting him and promises to make him his number one priority. The movie ends as Sammy and Carla go on a family vacation while their grandparents are still arrested.